I mean, cleanup experts as flood recovery efforts continue across the city. Many residents in the community of Roxborough have stripped their flooded basements and are now disinfecting and in the drying process. But as Sarah often reports, not everyone is squeaky clean on the process. Getting their ducks in a row. Tim, do you want your yard cleaned up at the back? Anything? Stan Price leads the Roxborough cleanup. I'm trying to find my neighbors and say, listen, let me just clean up your yard now. We have in the past couple days come across some houses that haven't even been started yet. I've got six people ready to go here right now. Price's front lawn is an informal gathering point. You couldn't ask for a better person to sort of anchor down the community in a time like this. And finally, his own basement is on the cleanup list. He's always been a volunteer in his community, and uh, he's the first guy to help out if you need a, a helping hand. So again, it's nice to give him a little bit back. Pressure washing, disinfecting, and drying is next, but it's a delicate task calling for specific products. We've been told to use this product and spray it on the walls because it stops mold growth and impedes further mold growth. And we've been told not to use bleach. Bleach apparently isn't what we need for this sort of problem. Quaternary ammonias and bleach don't penetrate surfaces of things like wood, or drywall, and, and so forth, so they're not the best choice. Then there's the drying, which can take up to six months. There's a lot of moisture that has been forced into that concrete, the wood, uh, all around the house, even outside. And that takes a long time for that to dissipate. Um, so if you rebuild too quickly, you're going to end up with mold in the walls and having to tear it all out again next summer. I've seen it a lot, really. Residents become local experts. It really shows you the need of organization when you come into a disaster because it's, uh, you're not prepared. The demolition phase for most draws to a close. Now it's just, we're getting back to a somewhat excited place because we're done demolishing and throwing away things and we get to start building again. What I'm seeing today is a, is a brighter day than I saw the last few. Sarah Offen, Global News. Now, recovery experts recommending drilling moisture testers directly into walls to make sure they're completely dried out before rebuilding. The Red Cross is also distributing about 50,000 cleanup kits to families across Alberta.